Okay, the very last lecture of this chapter, this endless chapter. So this is very much like the titration of a strong base, or a, a weak acid with a strong base. We're going to create a, a salt that is going to be an acidic salt this, this time, and that salt will then go on to hydrolyze. So we have to titrate the weak base with a strong acid, create the salt, then see what the salt does in water, and find the, the final pH. So this is going to be, uh, we have to change over two moles. We have moles of the base, the weak base. And then we're, um, oh, actually, we don't know the volume of the acid yet. We figure out the moles here at 0 0.028 moles of ammonia. And we know that we're going to need the same number of moles of HCl. That number of moles of HCl divided by its concentration will give us the volume that of acid that will be added. That gives us a total volume equal to 0.133 liters. We'll need that later. Now the HCl and the ammonia, we, we know that we have 0 0.028 moles of each that will be reacting together, 100% because a strong acid is involved. Anything strong acid or strong base that's involved, it goes until it can't go anymore. There's no backward, no reverse equation just reacts until it's all gone or the other thing is all gone or in this case both of them are used up at the exact same time. We have enough room to put in the units. This is zero. So we lose all of this. We lose all of this and we gain here and again you might say well you know why don't I just write this equation and say we end up with this many moles of the of the salt. I would have no trouble with that. As long as you, ex you explain why this number is the same as these. But if you, uh, this also explains it too. Now we need the, the concentration of the uh, ammonium, ammonium ion. The chloride ion is along for the ride right now. And this is, and we end up with, uh, I should say, we might as well do it here. The moles, what we're looking for are moles of ammonium ion. The chloride ion does nothing. It's just a counter ion. It's not part of the re next reaction, so we can convert over to ammonium ion right now. That's probably the best way. And then the ammonium ion, now we've created the salt, ammonium chloride. The, ammonium, uh, the chloride does nothing in, in water, it doesn't hydrolyze. The ammonium ion does, it reacts with the water to produce H3O plus and ammonia. And I notice that I'm having trouble saying some words. Uh, so it sounds a little slushy, or a little more so than usual, but that's because, well, I won't even tell you how long I've been doing videos today. <laughs> you wouldn't believe me. Okay, so um, now we, we finish this up. I'm going to just go make sure I'm on here. So we have x squared. And then we have. Uh, the Kb, uh, Ka for this expression, it produces H3O plus. So it must be a Ka expression. And, but we only know the Kb for ammonia. So we convert Kb of ammonia, has to be converted to Ka. So this is for ammonia, we have to convert to the Ka for ammonium ion. And that is gonna turn out to be 5.5. 5, 6 times 10 to the minus 10. And how we find it is Kw, uh, 10 to the minus 14, divided by 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 for ammonia. And then we have H3O plus that is produced, so we can go directly to pH. So pH is 4.7. Uh, 4.97. It's less than it's less than seven. That's what it was supposed to be because it's uh, the salt is a an, an acidic salt. Okay, and then we have one more. 
problem. <laughs> Unfortunately, I thought that that was the last problem. <laughs> and you might have noticed on the last one, this is a, I've changed this to a two. There was never, a, it's a three underneath, but there's never three of them. I just copied uh, and pasted from another problem and, and left it on as a three. So don't feel that you've missed anything. I always do two, of, and two of these is plenty to do. If you need more, you can always contact me. But okay, now we have uh, a, the weak base again is uh, uh, ammonia because any of the other weak bases are really tough to deal with. They, they just don't, they don't look right when you deal with, when you react them with acid. There's nothing wrong with them, but this is just easier to deal with, so. So you say, well, why doesn't he ever use uh, like hydrazine or methylamine or one of those? I, I could, but it just, it won't, uh, students have a lot of trouble with it. I, I want them just to get the math down here. And then we can, uh, if you have any questions about that, we can certainly work out problems uh, with these other weak bases that are found in that table. Okay, so at equivalence, so this is at the equivalence point, the, mat, the moles have to uh, be the same, so they cancel out. Uh, we have to figure out how much acid we added, so we take the, that number of moles and we divide by the concentration, it's moles per liter of HI, so that gives us 0 0.00500 liters. This is a very small volume because the concentration is so much larger than, than this one. So, so when you have a, that huge of a difference in concentration, we should expect there to be, since there's 30 mils here, we should expect this to be pretty small. It's only five mils. Okay, but the total volume that we'll need la later is 0 0.035 liters. So we'll have that. Now the ammonia and the HI react together 100% to produce uh, ammonium ion. And this time I broke it up into ions. I didn't, the last one, I, I could have. I, I left it as ammonium chloride. But we'll break it up into ions just to show that the ammonium ion is the most important part and that it, it is, uh, in this case, considered separate because the iodide doesn't do anything. That iodide ion uh, just sits there. And we have this many moles of each. And then we take the, the moles, get on there, divide by the total volume, and we get our concentration. Now we're back to what we were dealing with before. We're back to that original problem. And since we're using ammonium ion again, and that's what we would, I will be using on, on my exams if I have uh, a weak uh, base and strong acid titration. Uh, so we'll be back to, you'll, that will make things a little bit easier. I don't go out of my way to not use this one on the exam, it's just whichever one hits me when I'm writing it up. So, but if it's, uh, if ammonia is involved, then ammonium ion will be the end result for these titrations. And when we get done, it's x squared. And it's the same k, uh, this is ka, so it's the same ka as before for the ammonium ion. x, which is the concentration of H3O plus in this case, is 1.09 times 10 to the minus 5 molar. pH equals 4.96. Should be less than 7, it is, so. Uh, seems like that is okay.